Good morning, Sibley students and staff. Excuse me for one announcement. Today's lunch menu is featuring produce from our school gardens. Hope you all enjoy it. Okay, so just a reminder from what we did on Rally. Hey. My name is Tim Ullenkamp. I'm a high school egg teacher at Sibley East High School, which is in Arlington, Minnesota. In 2010, we started a garden project where we planted a one acre garden plot of vegetables uh, and all the vegetables that we harvested brought came right back into the school food system. It was so awesome last year that we said well we'll make it bigger and we'll start start again so right now today as we're doing the first step in the process we're laying out the garden. Uh, we have a two acre garden this year that's pretty square uh, and so what these kids are doing today are laying out the rows and um, 40 foot rows with walkways in between every 40 feet one driveway down the center so that we can drive harvesting equipment and tractors and stuff down so all right i'm dakota robinson i live um out in green isle about five miles away from here i'm a junior i saw agar business and i'm just like well that sounds fun I, and then i knew they're going to do this garden project so i wanted to take that and learn some more stuff because I work on a farm, I milk cows. And one acre of the two acres will do for CSA, so hopefully we'll have 30 shares, so you'll get one thirtieth of an acre every week when the vegetables are ready. The other half then comes back into the school food systems. I'm Vince Scarrow and I live here in town in Arlington and I'm a junior. It sounds corny but it was neat to see what we were growing like those started out of seeds when we put them in the ground and we can use it in the school for fresher more delicious products than the stuff out of the freezer that they just pop in the oven Today we got a group of kids out and we're doing some planting. Uh, we're putting in onion sets, uh, carrots, and uh, probably some lettuce. We have to till everything. We've gotten a lot of rain recently. We till every time right before we plant so it loosens up the soil. But we've gotten, uh, in the last two weeks, we've gotten about two and a half inches of rain, which has really put the season back. That would have been nice if we had everything in the ground. But... So yeah, so we got kids out. We're laying out lines on put a bunch of seeds in today. radishes we just picked. We're harvesting radishes and lettuce today and we're going to sell them for CSA. And I'm Tyler. We're cutting lettuce and harvesting radishes today. I really actually like this because um, I've been around it my whole life. My grandparents own a big farm and I harvest for them and I every single year I plant their garden and it's of course nothing around this size but my whole life I've been around it. So I kind of like this because I pretty much feel like I know what I'm doing. School muscles. Hi, I'm Jessica Ives. I live um, in the country in between Arlington and Henderson. I've gone to Sibley's High School my whole life. Right now with the garden manager we position, we are just washing the vegetables that we just picked recently in the garden. Um, they, we goof off a lot, but most of the time we get our work done. You know, we'll start April 1st and we'll be outside hopefully when the weather gets good. And the kids want to be outside when it's springtime. In the fall the kids want to be outside. So 
I'm, I wasn't worried about the kids doing the work at the garden. I was really worried about what do we do after we harvest. Uh, because I'm obviously not qualified to do any of that processing of tomatoes and peppers and stuff. Uh, and the school lunch ladies, they're all ladies so I can do that, the school lunch ladies um, uh, were a little leery at first. But then once we started bringing stuff in, they said this is like old times. This is like with mom and grandma and, and what we're doing. Uh, so they were really cool about it. And they put a lot of time in the summer processing everything. But they said it was worth it when the kids came through line and said, this is really good. You know, this is, this is different. What's different this year? And they said, you know, it's not out of a can. And, and that's a huge thing. And the kids liked it. And the lunch ladies liked it. And it was, it was an awesome experience last year. So we just, every year we're going to grow. My name is Joan Boudin, and I'm the head cook here at Sibley East in Arlington. And I'm starting my 30th year. This is our second year that we have had the fresh produce from the FFA garden and we do enjoy it. We made freezer coleslaw today and we are freezing carrots. We are going to make salsa out of the tomatoes that came in today. And the tomatoes that will come in in the future we will freeze for chili. We've made many, many refrigerator pickles and Mr. Eppen just brought in a wheelbarrow full of zucchini which we will put in the blender and we'll freeze that for zucchini bread. Uh, my name is Lorraine Lisky and I have worked at this kitchen since uh, 2003 and um, today I'm peeling carrots which I will slice and we'll freeze them for later use and later on I'm going to do some more um, freezer coleslaw. Um, this year we didn't have a whole lot of green beans what we used but last year we uh, froze 43 gallons of green beans and probably eight gallons of yellow beans. Hi, my name is Carol. I have worked in this kitchen for about 11 years and I'm Joni's assistant or her right hand man, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, what we're doing today is we're making salsa from the tomatoes from the garden. And we started out, we took the tomatoes, cleaned them. And so we've got the meat to the tomato and we're gonna make salsa today. and. We're just gonna squish up the tomatoes for our salsa and cook. And the kids seem to like it. They really like it, because we do serve like uh, uh, tacos or Mexican haystacks, and um, they seem to enjoy it. So, and they do ask if it's from the garden, and it looks a lot redder, and it's a lot healthier for them. Today is CSA Day. People are coming in and dropping off their buckets and then we give them a new one full of their vegetables that they think it's take home. I'm Todd Rozeka. Um, I'm a teacher at the junior high, Teach Health. And the main reason why I chose to join this, number one, I figured less shopping for us so we wouldn't have to worry about that. And basically I have to come and pick it up once a week. So it kind of takes a lot of the work out of uh, you know, life for me in the summer and our family. Um, I'm Lynn O'Brien and I'm the District Assessment Coordinator here at Sibley East. And I joined uh, the CSA because one, it helps support the students here at our school. Well, I think it's a real life kind of project. Uh, the students are out there actually doing the planting and the harvesting of the vegetables. And I think it's a great experience for them to also see the business side of it, um, be able to start the project at the beginning and then uh, finish with this final product um, is really good experience for them. So we're at the uh, variety trial. Uh, this is our 10 acre field of field corn and this is the last step in the year process of what we do and this is uh, field corn so this corn is going to go to uh, uh, a co-op and they sell it off then for uh, typically sell it off for animal feed so this corn is not used at school uh, for the kids uh, meal program the purpose for us is throughout the year we bring students out here and we talk about the growth rates and we talk about uh, the steps of growth um, and then at the end of the year, 
Uh, the profits that we make, we sell the corn obviously, the profits that we make will be used for scholarships. It will be used primarily for the garden project, so it will be our starter money for, for seed for the garden vegetables next year. I'm Lauren Otto, and I'm in 12th grade, and I go to Sibley's High School. I'm Caleb Ling. I'm a senior at Sibley East. I'm Dayton Robinson and I go to Sibley East High School. A lot of the cooks like to say like, oh, we made squash today from the school's garden. And it was nice they incorporated it and let us know so that we would try something new. I enjoy eating the food that we grow because, I mean, it's like we're actually getting back from the hard work that we put into it rather than if we were to give it away or sell it or something. I feel really good about eating the food that I grew because I know where it came from and what different things we use to help it grow. It's a wonderful year with all our fresh fruits and vegetables. We have used our own tomatoes in our chili, our spaghetti sauce, um, we've done our, our refrigerator pickles, we bake squash, the kids enjoy the squash, we put pumpkin, uh, we've made pumpkin bars, and they don't know it, but we put pumpkin in our chili. And it's, it's a way to get more orange vegetables into the kids, and you can't taste it. Our students here really, really like it. And yes, it is uh, more work for us, but when you see these kids and their faces of, oh, it's from the garden, or is this from the garden? And it goes down the line, uh, oh, this, uh, this corn or tomatoes or whatever is from the garden. So they, they're really good feedback. Uh, well, it's December now, and uh, the year has gone pretty well. We had a good year um, as far as produce being grown. Um, the weather didn't cooperate always, as um, I guess we can't predict that. But um, the good thing was the vegetables uh, still grew very well, and uh, we produced a lot this year. And um, most of what we produce now has been used by the cafeteria or is still in the freezer. Um, so the fresh stuff is pretty much gone, there's just a few pumpkins left, and that's about it. I'm Christy Whaler, I'm in 11th grade at Sibley East, and I think it was a really good project because some kids in the city don't really know where their food comes from, and getting the experience to go work at a garden and get their hands dirty a little bit was fun for them. And it was kind of fun for us farm kids too, or country kids, to see them like, at first kind of being, I don't want to get dirty, and then after a while they had fun with it. Well, I knew a lot about vegetables, like how, how long they took to grow, but I guess I didn't, just the whole process of it, I thought that was interesting, learned a lot about it, so now when I'm older I'll be able to have a, have a good, successful garden, hopefully. <laughs> My friends and other students that I heard input from, they thought it was a little different at first because we're used to the canned things and it tastes different, but it was good and they liked it and they liked knowing that it's a healthy choice. So if we can expose students and teach them a lifelong, a life skill that they can use the rest of their life, great. I guess that's kind of the goal. And the kids have fun doing it and gets us outside too. So it, it really makes the students' day go by quicker and makes our day more fun. And, and um, it's just a great project all around, a lot of benefits. <laughs>